What is up guys, Carl here. Today we're unboxing and having a first look at the TP-Link TLMR3420, which is a 3G or 4G wireless and router, meaning that you can use a USB 3G or 4G dongle, plug it into this one and share it with all your mobile devices, instead of just having that dongle paired to one computer. And on the front of the box, we just go over real quickly, it goes up to uh, 300 megabits per second, over the 2.4 gigahertz band, so not a dual band router. 4G or 3G connection, VPS protection, and of course Wi-Fi certification. On the back of the box you can see, for example, typical application, so connect to your computer, either wireless or wired, or your mobile devices, and then have a 4G, 3G USB stick connected to your connected tower, or you can use it cable-ish, as you can see here, down with that WAN port right there. And we'll check out this more in a second. On the back of the box, what this product does, and all that thing thingamabob that we already talked about, multi-language. Some specs, for example, this is the compatibility for some of the modems. If you want to see all the models that you can connect to, you have that compatibility list linked right there. Just go to the TP-Link page and you'll find it out. On the bottom you will find the package content, which is basically the modem, information and cables. And on this side you have some specs if you want to check those out. So it can go up to 300 megabits per second on wireless, but only 100 on wired, which is quite bad. But it uses all regular features, nothing really special right there. If we open up this whole thingy, it comes in a box in a box, the box section. Quickly pull it out. So, white box, nothing special on it. And inside, you will find all the goodies. First of all, you get your quick installation guide in different languages. Inside, we also find a, I guess, driver CD. General public license notes and uh, I guess warranty and even more quick installation. So if you have any problems, just consult that. You also get your power adapter. This is, of course, specific to your region. European version uses a, let's see, 12 volt, 1 amps output. So if you need to replace this, this is the plug in and all the thing. And modem. Check down below, get a standard cable, I guess a CAT5 maybe, just to hook it up but you probably want to use it wireless anyway. And also the dual antennas as you saw in the picture, screw those on in a second. And the modem or the router itself, router, rotor, I don't know, depends on where you're from. A little plasticky box, some holes made for ventilation, you also get holes for mounting it on the wall, just screw it in and hook it up. It's got a nice white glossy finish and all your connections to different computers, wireless, I guess that's the 3G connection, USB lock, I'm not sure what all these does. Ventilation-ish on the side, looks kind of like a a space base, USB for your dongle, Wi-Fi, I don't know, antenna extra, I don't know. And on the back you'll find your two connections for your clued antennas, power connection, on off switch, four regular Ethernet connections and your WAN port. VPS or reset button, so that's if you want to use it quite easily. And then, you just take this, screw it on, of course, this will give you a better range. I've used the Dovada Tiny, but it doesn't give me enough connection at my summer home. So, this one with its dual antenna and better connecting features should give me a better range. And then, if you screw it on correctly without it falling off, you can of course screw that, screw it all, so 
quite compact and of course if you want to plug it up on the wall just put them there and then have it like that so that's a quick little unboxing and first look at the TP-Link hopefully this will work with my UAA or whatever it's called modem and uh, I'll get better reception when I'm vacationing so thank you for checking out my quick little unboxing of the TLMR3420 from TP-Link and I will see you next time